file management we are going to look at file management in this video so file management is organization of files on our computer like you can see at the back there I have files which are organized into folders you can say I have folders I have different files for different work so the same thing can be on a computer so this is what we do we can create files all folders in various locations on the desktop or in any other place but basically we use file windows file explorer and to access windows file explorer you click the search button and you type file explorer that is one way of opening file explorer if you don't do that you can as well click on this icon for file explorer down when you click it takes you the same place <clears throat> so on your left hand side here we have the locations where we can save the files can save it on the desktop in downloads, documents, pictures, or even on this PC, you can have different locations where to save your documents. So at the moment, the location we are going to work on is the desktop. We want to save, create a folder here on the desktop and save in some work. So what we do, you right click on the desktop, you go to new, then folder. So a folder, we first create a container in which we are going to save our files, and that is a folder. So we give the folder a name. If this is an organization, say this is a folder for marketing department, so I'll Call that one marketing. And I'm going to create another folder for the sales department. I right click, new, folder, and sales. I'll create a third folder for the HR department. That is human resource. And I'm going to create a fourth folder for research. Now, when I go to File Explorer, File Explorer, if I click Desktop, you can already see the files, the folders I've created: human resource, marketing, research, and sales. Now, I want to put some content inside these folders. <clears throat> Say, I want to go to the sales. I double click or I right click, and I choose open. So, this is an empty folder. I'm going to put content in it. So, I'm going to create child folders or subfolder a subfolder or a child folder is a folder which is found inside the main folder or the root folder so i'm going to create another folder which is going to have january which is going to have 2022 20, sales then i'm going to create another folder where I'm going to store 2023 20, sales. And I'm going to create another folder where I'm going to store 2024 20, sales. Now these are subfolders because they are found inside a folder for sales. As you can see on the top here, the location is on the desktop 
and we are inside sales. Now inside 2022 sales, I open, as you can see I'm on desktop in sales, 2022 sales. So I'm going to start creating my files. I create the Excel, which I'm going to call January sales. Remember, these are 2022 sales. Then I'm going to create a February sales. Now these are files which are being created within a folder. And I'm going to create March sales. <clears throat> if I want to go back, one step, like I'm in 2020 sales, I want to go back and I put some content into 2023 sales. So you see this arrow here, the app. So I'll click back. I have 2023 sales, so I open, I double click or I right click, choose open. Then I create new files again. Again, January sales. In February sales, then March sales. So I can go back. So that's how we can create files and folders by right clicking. You right click the white screen, then you go to new. And a new. If you want a folder, you click a folder. If you want a file, you click a type of file you want. Now let us see how we can change the names of these files and folders. So this folder here is trade trade to sales. But I want to change its name. And I and I give it a different name. So I right click the folder and I'll come to rename. So instead of calling it 2022 sales, I'm going to call it Western sales. The same thing to this, I right click. For those of you who have Windows 10, you will not see this. Instead, you have, instead you will see rename. For Windows 10, you, you, on your menu, you see rename, so you click on rename. Then you call that Eastern. The same applies to files. You do the same thing. You right click a file. Then you come to rename for Windows 11. Or for Windows 10, you look for the word rename. Then you can give it a name. To delete the file or the folder, you right click that file you want to delete. Then you choose delete. For Windows 10, you look for that word delete, then it's deleted. To copy a file or a folder, you right click, you choose copy, then you go where you want to place it. Say, I've copied the file from Western and I want to. Press it here, so I right click and I click paste. To cut or to remove, like I want to remove all of these files from here to a different location, I will select them. Then I right click, I click cut, I go where I want to put them. So I want to put them into this folder, I right click. And I choose paste. So because there's a file which has a diff the same name, it is going to say replace. If I don't want, I will say skip. So you can go ahead and practice and practice creating files and folders. Let's meet in next lesson and see more features of files and folders. Thank you.